Can I traverse safely? Or are you just going to come out of nowhere and completely brutalize my face? Sounds like a good place to go. I imagine this dip. What? Thought I saw something out of the corner of my eye. like that noise all that much. Uh, 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 hi. Ah. Hey, anybody help! Christ, I believe this. Why? I mean, why? What did I do? I mean, it can't be. Do I deserve this? I don't know. It wasn't my fault. Why did he have to go in there? Don't go into burning houses. He should have known better. Uh, okay. Is that the only story we're going to... Out of August 1839, I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun sets on Brennenberg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. Honestly, I think these little notes and things are just a little bit more entertaining than the actual game itself. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the game is pretty amazed so far, but... I don't know. It's just interesting hearing about all this stuff going on. This fellow's traipsing about doing all sorts of whatnots and things. trying to wait this out and I don't even alright sounds safe I've already been in here thud thud thud
Okay. Ah. Hey, you! Stop! Don't come any closer! I just want to leave! You can't go outside! It's too dangerous! I'm telling Gabriel! I doubt that very much. Oh, why? Please don't come over here. Please don't go over here. Where am I going again? Being hunted by that thing is just kind of... Like, turned me around and I don't know where I'm going. Preemptively turning off my light sources in case I end up running into a nasty, detestable gentleman. 4th of August, 1839. The nightmares woke me in the early morning, and for a moment I forgot where I was. Shortly after, there was a knock on my door. Alexander had heard my screams and asked me to join him in the parlor. As we drank our tea, Alexander began to tell me what he knew. It seems like the orb I found casts a long and dark shadow. It's not only a powerful item, but a dangerous one. Simply by touching it, you invoke the powers within, and if you are too weak to control it, it will devour you. The shadow is a sluggish thing, lagging behind the wielder, killing anyone or anything in its path to reclaim the orb. I said I didn't care about its powers and that I should throw it away. Alexander advised against this as I'd still be a part of the path to the orb and eventually suffer death. Having the orb, I would at least have the chance to fight back when the time came. I asked Alexander what he meant when he said he could protect me. And he answered that things can be done. But at a price. Things can be done. But at a price. Well, there's already a price, isn't there?
Go away, go away, go away. Please. <coughs> Going away seems like the best option. For you. Are you actually here, or... I don't know. What's this stuff? Ow. Yeah, but what do I do with it now? Oh dear. <laughs> 